Hey, what's up everybody and I just want to say welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and I'm gonna make this quick and simple this is about making your catalyst get completed faster than what they normally do if this video has helped you out in any way shape or form like subscribe and with that being said let's get into it all right so to get started you're gonna need three things the weapons with the catalyst a hunter with top tree tether and Orpheus rig and then you're gonna need rally banners from Hawthorne at the tower after you have all three of those things, you're going to want to head over to the Last Wish Raid and you're going to want to go in solo. And then you're going to want to head off to the Wish Room. This is where you're going to put the Wish in to take you over to Sorochi. That's where the magic happens. Just want to say, if you main one character class or you just don't use hunters at all, just create a hunter for this sole purpose only. You will thank me later, I promise. Alright, so when you're coming up to the wish room, you're going to want to take your time with this. Make sure you don't mess it up. You're going to want to shoot each circle to match the symbol to the corresponding wish. When you put this correct wish in, make sure you take the time also to double check. Make sure you put it in right. Nothing's worse than putting in the wrong wish and having to redo it all. And after you're finished, all you do is step on the plate and it's going to teleport you right to Shirochi. All right, so now you got your rally banners, you got your tether top tree, and you have your weapon equipped with the catalyst on it. There's a lot of weapons you can do with this. Sweet Business, Ace of Spades, Cerberus, plus one. Um, is it Nagi's Burden when you get the catalyst for that? This is where I came to do it. it took me about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It takes around that time for each weapon. All right, so on to it. What you want to do is you want to pop your tether in there, but be careful because the Taken Blights can actually suck your tether away. So you want to shoot it at the right spot, or you can wait for the adds to spawn and then shoot it. When you shoot one add in your tether, it either damages or kills the other adds. That counts towards your weapon kills. So you pretty much do this on each group of adds. You want to make sure you shoot the ones that are tethered so you actually get your tether back and you can keep it going. It's, it's real difficult to do if you're not using tether. It's pretty easy to die on this part by yourself. And bring like a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, whatever you prefer. Just because sometimes the knights, depending on the weapon you're working on and the eye riven can be a real pain so something to kill them real quick just so you can continue on tethering the thrall all right so going forward that's really pretty much all the information you need i've noticed i get an average of about 60 to 80 kills depending on the last set of thralls sometimes it'll be one wave of thrall or it'll be two waves i've noticed it's one wave when you actually go too quickly but most of the time it's going to be two waves that's when you get about 80 kills i've noticed each run which just takes a couple minutes gets about maybe 11 to i've seen up to 17 18 percent it doesn't take too long maybe about 15 minutes per weapon depending on the weapon you're using but after all, it's much faster than running around trying to complete it. I mean, this is just something to do if you want to get it done with quickly. And with all that being said, it's time to wrap up the video, guys. Hey, I'm just curious if there's any um, catalyst or anything, or what do you think the new catalyst would do? Post it in the comments below. And all right, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks again.